Dear all, this is Chandra Mali, your project management consultant. In this video, we will discuss about Agile terminologies. Agile is a topic of growing importance, which helps the organization to be more flexible to change and to deliver workable software in a shorter span of time, benefiting both the customer and the executing organization. Let's look into some of the Agile related concepts. These are predominantly used in all Agile methodologies. 1. Iteration The ceremony in which working software is produced in Agile project is called as iteration. In Agile project, working software is getting produced at the end of the iteration. The result of an iteration, which is usually working software is being used as the starting point of the next subsequent iteration. Iteration demo to the customer happens at the end of the iteration and followed by iteration retrospection, which helps to improvise the next iteration cycle execution. Iteration is usually a time boxed event. 2. Adaptive planning. Adaptive planning expects to define only a high level plan for the far end features but a detailed plan for the next immediate iteration. This is always a more comfortable and realistic situation to live in, right? This is also referred to as rolling wave planning, as the process of planning for a project is happening in waves, as the project becomes clearer and complexities unfold. Only key milestones are highlighted in the initial stages for reference. 3. Time Boxing it is a fixed time frame within which the team tries to achieve the plan tasks for the iteration and stops the iteration as soon as the timeline is over. Iterations follow a consistent, unchanging schedule in which each activity is executed and these events are called as time boxed events. Demonstrate finished iteration outcome up to an hour. Hold retrospective on previous iteration one hour. Plan iteration, half an hour to four hours. This helps the team keep focused on the main activities and avoid spending time on the low priority tasks. 4. Minimal Marketable Future MMF. MMF is the basis minimum feature of the product so that people can start using it rather than waiting for all the features. There will be a release after Minimal Marketable Futures gets created. It actually enables incremental delivery of the product. Multiple MMF makes the whole product. MMF has value to the end user on its own. 5. Agile Triangle In traditional projects, the scope is fixed, time and cost are the deriving factors of scope. In Agile projects, time and costs are fixed through time boxing, but scope is not fixed for the entire project in a single stretch. Scope is being developed, using just-in-time plan for the iteration. So Agile Triangle is the inverse triangle of traditional project, where time and cost are represented at the top and scope is derived from those, which is at the lower side. 6. Customer Involvement Agile Manifesto recommends active customer participation and involvement rather than time and effort expended on negotiating contracts. Agile software development stresses in evolving requirements, accomplished by direct user involvement in the development process, rapid iterations mean small and frequent releases. Customer involvement in the software development process is very critical to the success of the project. The Agile methods state that, the customer should be part of the development process from analysis and design to implementation and maintenance. 7. Refactoring Restructuring the code without changing the functionality is called as refactoring. It helps to strengthen the code, further enabling for further addition of functionalities. It helps to simplify the code. In Agile projects, the same piece of code is getting refactored multiple times to enable future requirement to be fitted in. 8. Servant Leader Servant leadership represents a model of leadership in Agile projects, 
in which the leader assumes a service-orientated role as servant, serving the team. Servant leader will find the need of the team, and helps the team to solve the problem. Servant leader will not give any instructions, or commands to the team, rather, help them by servicing and empowering the team. 9. Spike Spike can be defined as a small learning period, or technical investigation for solving a problem. Spike explores potential solutions for a difficult technical or design problem, which can be used to provide a more accurate estimate. If the team does not know whether a particular design approach will work out or not, it is recommended to do spikes, to find out which design approach will work out for the team. Spike solutions use controlled experiments to provide information. 10. Technical Debt Technical debt is the total amount of less than perfect design, and implementation of decisions in the Agile project. It is a known technical problem in the code. As the technical debt decreases, velocity, number of stories completed per iteration, will start to rise again. A good rule of thumb in Agile project is to spend, 10% of the iteration on technical debt. 11. Pair Programming Two people is seated just opposite to each other to code the program, while the first person is actually coding the program, and other one is checking the possible errors that might occur as a reviewer of the code. They also interchange the seats, and thereby the roles, coders, reviewers. Bear programming doubles the brain power available during coding, and gives one person in each pair the opportunity to think about strategic, long-term issues. 12. Epics, Features, User Stories In Agile Project, the requirements are maintained in the forms of epics, features and user stories. Epics are collections of features, typically 1-3 months in duration. Features are smaller than epics, typically executed in 2-4 weeks in duration. User stories are the smallest increment of value, created from feature, typically executed less than a week. A user story describes what the user does with the software, and how the software responds. A user story is a functional requirement that resembles a use case, and test case. In Agile terminology, product features are otherwise called as user stories. User stories are much smaller than the usage requirement artifacts, such as use cases or usage scenarios. User stories will be captured in the dialogue format, and anybody can understand it easily. Three parts of user stories are, card, conversation, and confirmation. In Agile, stories are written in the form of a card, postal card size. In Agile, stories are written in the form of conversation, and it has a format. Format of an user story is, as a role, I want to do feature so that I can do reason slash benefit. It is actually the format of who, what, why. Example for a user story: As an end user, I want to purchase the model question papers online so that I can avoid delay in purchase. Why part is optional, but it is better to describe that. Confirmation is the acceptance criteria of a user story. The customer captures these criteria in acceptance tests, designed to exercise the system in enough ways, to demonstrate that the feature really works. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much for watching this video.